Hello everybody and a very happy Thursday to you. Something different today. I was recently sent something new for our racing cockpit. T3PA pedals have been fantastic, but it's time for something new. And in comes the new challenger, the Thrustmaster TLCM pedals. Let's go ahead and get the uh, technical jargon out of the way and so we can uh, actually go and play with these. These are the TLCM pedals. The load cell and magnetics is what all of the acronym is, but uh, one thing that it does have is the heart uh, technology. So it's called the Hall Effect Accurate Technology, up to 16-bit resolution, and that is 65,536 values per pedal. It has an adjustable brake pressure force. Uh, the kit came with six springs, uh, allowing a multitude of different quick adjustments you can make to it, um, up to 100 kilograms of pressure on the load cell. You have soft, medium, hard, with or without press stressing. Uh, pallet position is adjustable in height uh, you can move it uh, three possible positions for the accelerator pedal and uh, two possible positions for the brake and clutch pedal let's talk about the structure of the pedals themselves uh, the arms and pallets of the three pedals are in metal uh, there is a large textured metal footrest as the integrated system and uh, fixing plan for cockpits uh, that it came with it and uh, it supports five screw threads under the lower shell. Now you can either connect these uh, to the wheel itself and then use the USB off of the wheel base. That's what I'm doing with my TSPC racer. Or you can use the included USB and use those separately if you'd like. If you're wondering how big this thing is, it is 13 inches wide. It is about 14.96 inches long and it is about 8.66 inches tall. If you pick this bad boy up, it's about 11.46 pounds. No, this is not an American truck simulator video. Instead, we're just going to drive around and show you the pedals in action here as we go through our gears. I'll even use the clutch uh, to go through the different gears like this as we drive around the yard. And I must say, one thing right out of the gate is the, uh, the accelerator has got a lot of stiffness to it. A lot more than um, I was anticipating originally from uh, the previous pedal set that I was using. So. That's one thing I do like, is having that heavier. Uh, as far as the brake goes, um, I have it set up right default out of the box. I haven't put any different springs on it or anything like that. And it really uh, feels nice. I, I don't like a cinder block when I step on a pedal. I like it to be kind of, it feels like an actual brake pedal to me. Um, and then the clutch, the only thing I can say about the clutch is that after about a week and a, about a week, yeah, about a, it's been a week uh, of using the clutch, um, I'm hearing a noticeable pop. I'll let you hear it. You can't hear it in the audio, but you'll hear it in the uh, the camera audio. Uh, and then it, it makes a, a noticeable popping sound. I don't know what that's about. Uh, it seems to be coming from the spring inside of there. But regardless, it, uh, it still has a heavy feel to it, uh, which I really like. But standing on the brakes here, as you can see, uh, I mean, gets it done really quick. Uh, I, I like that. I don't feel like I'm having to like roll into the brake. Instead, I can just apply pressure and I can really get a nice feel for that. Having some fun at the uh, Dirtfish Rally track in uh, Dirt Rally 2.0. And coming from the T3PA Pro pedals that I was using before, uh, this is a significant upgrade. They, uh, they're, they're a lot more firm. You can see the amount of pedal I'm using here, uh, especially when I'm getting the brakes here. But looking back into the, in the gas pedal there, you can just see how much more uh, of a stiffness there is to it compared to those just ones I'm uh, basically comparing them to uh, since that's what I was using before. So I'm noticing a huge difference there immediately. Uh, as far as brakes go, you really have fine control over how much braking you're giving it. Uh, and that's something that just wasn't there with the T3PAs. They, they seemed like, you know, a very uh, just on and off kind of feeling. And this with the brake in the load cell, it just, you can really, really fine tune how much brake you are giving the car. And I really, really enjoy that. As far as the design goes of the pedals, the only thing I really don't care for is the amount of plastic around the uh, part of the of the pedals themselves. And uh, and even the footrest on the bottom feels like a, uh, even like a cheap thin plate uh, on it. But those are just cosmetic things that really don't matter to me too much. I like having a big wide base rather than having like individual slots where they come out, um, especially for mounting to a cockpit. I like to be able to rest my heels on it. So those are those are things that, I, just small things that I don't really care for in 
the uh, the pedal set itself. But man, I've got to say, boom! What a difference it is uh, jumping from the T3PAs to this. Something a little more fast paced here. We're in Tony Stewart's sprint car racing, and you'll notice just how much travel I'm using on the brakes. Uh, and you can actually see what the springs are doing, which is uh, nice. And like I said, you get uh, some replacement springs if you want something more stiff or you want something less stiff. But for me, like I said, everything out of the box just worked fantastic. And uh, I can't complain at all. So really liking it. It's, it's brought a lot to my setup personally um, in this cockpit setup. Uh, and I can't imagine play in any of these racing games and American Truck Sim and stuff uh, without them. I really can't. So big hats off to Thrustmaster. I think they did a fantastic job on this one. All right, folks. So let's get down to the brass tacks. You can pre-order these on Amazon. A link for it will be in the description below. Check it out there. These are $199.99, $200. And I think at that price point, uh, it's, it's a fantastic uh, deal as far as, you know, you're getting the metal construction uh, sure, you got the plastic uh, around it itself. I love that it comes with the extra springs that you can, you know, adjust however you see fit as far as how much pressure you want to put on that pedal. That That's awesome. A big thanks to Thrustmaster for sending these to me. I'm not being paid by them. Yes, I was given the pedal set for free uh, as a uh, review video and in exchange for that. Um, but all of the opinions on it are, are my own. And I've got to say, uh, it's a huge step up from the T3PAs. If you're already on that setup, this is going to be awesome. Um, and uh, I, th I think you're going to enjoy the fact that you can change out those different springs uh, and make it your own feel for the most part. Because let's be honest, the biggest selling point of that is having a load cell in the brake and being able to just apply pressure to it. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it. I'll see you next time. Take care.